Hey, this is Paul, the Friendly Reviewer. Now recently, Udacity started their second term of their self-driving car nano degree program. This is a very popular and new program that there's not a lot of information out there. I'm going to give you an overview based on the information that was released by David Silver. Sensor Fusion is the key to designing and building both robots and autonomous cars. The second term starts out first with an understanding of the two key sensors, LiDAR and radar. This is a good place to start since you must understand how the sensors work and the pros and cons before you can use them effectively. When people talk about robots and sensor fusion, common filters often make their way into the conversation. The common filter is an observer that is used for state estimation. They're extremely useful for fusing sensor information together. They're extremely powerful since they can be tuned and weighted based on the noise models and the air characteristics of the sensors being fused. For nonlinear systems, the course will go over the extended common filter and the unscented common filter. The unscented common filter is a little less smelly when working with highly nonlinear systems. If you couldn't tell, that was a joke. Well, kind of. To implement them, it is useful to have an understanding of C++, linear algebra, and calculus. Most importantly, you need to have a good grasp of what you're modeling and fusing. You will get to put your newly learned sensor fusion skills to the test with a pedestrian tracking project. The second major category of the second term is localization. Localization is extremely important as your autonomous car needs to know where it is at if it's gonna stay in the roads and get you to your destination. You will learn about uncertainty, probability, and the relationship to motion. The course will explain how to propagate your position using different methods to model your vehicle and various sensors. With Markov localization, you'll learn how, in theory, you might not know where you're at, but you might know a few options of where you might be. It may look like guess and test at the beginning, but you'll learn how a particle filter works to localize your self-driving car and how to implement a high-performance particle filter in C++. You will get to put your newly learned localization skills to the test with a project to localize a car based on real-world data by implementing a particle filter. The last major category is control. You can do all the fusing of sensors and localization you want, but unless you can control the car, it isn't going anywhere. First, you'll learn how the vehicle is mechanically actuated and controlled. The course then will go over one of the most basic closed-loop controllers the PID, or Proportional Integral Derivative Control System. You'll then move on to the more advanced Linear Quadratic Regulator, also known as LQR. By the end, you'll understand state space control and cost functions. You will get to put your newly learned control skills to the test with a simulation-based lane keeping project. The Udacity Self-Driving Car Nanodegree Program is very new and will probably be adapting as it matures. So there may be changes compared to what I just talked about here. But overall, it looks like a really solid course and very useful for getting in this field. So this has been Paul, the Friendly Reviewer, with your overview of the second term of the Udacity Self-Driving Car Nanodegree Program. Thank you for watching.